wedding friends, a very warm welcome to you all today to the wedding of Jack and Dulcie. Today we have gathered to celebrate the love that is theirs and offer them our blessings and acknowledgement for the pure and enduring love that they have for each other. Jack and Dulcie are so pleased to have you here with us and would like to acknowledge and thank you all for your efforts to bring their special day to fruition. My name is Emma Joanne Brown and I'm a registered marriage celebrant. Before we begin, I wish to acknowledge the traditional custodians of this land, the Turbal people of the Yagara and their elders past and present. I acknowledge and respect their continuing culture and their contribution to the life of this region. Both Jack and Dulcie are very grateful to be united on this land. Their love story. Jack and Dulcie are a love story for the ages. They met at their retirement home and formed a wonderful friendship which then blossomed into a beautiful story of love and companionship. Jack says it was Dulcie's fast feet at line dancing that really caught his eye, whilst Dulcie says she couldn't go past Jack's infamous Sunday roast that he enjoys cooking for everyone. They have many things in common, and one of them is the pride and love they have for their families. They have enjoyed many times together as a loving couple over the last decade, and they would like to make this commitment to each other today in front of you, their friends and family, to love and care for each other for the rest of their days. Dulcie's son is now going to share a reading with us all, so I'd like to invite Geoffrey up, please. Corinthians. Love is patient and kind. Love does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. As for prophecies, they will pass away. As for tongues, they will cease. As for knowledge, it will pass away. For we know in part, we prophesy in part, but when the perfect comes, the partial will pass away. When I was a child, I spoke like a child, I thought like a child, I reasoned like a child. When I became a man, I gave up childish ways. For now we see in a mirror dimly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, then I shall know fully ever as I have been fully known. Thank you so much, Jeffrey. That was lovely. Okay, it's now time to say our vows and get these two lovebirds officially married. I am duly authorised by law to solemnise marriages according to law. Before you were joined in marriage, in my presence, and in the presence of these witnesses, I am to remind you of the solemn and binding nature of the relationship into which you are now about to enter. Marriage, according to law in Australia, is the union of two people to the exclusion of all others voluntarily entered into for life. Jack, do you take Dulcie to be your wife? Do you promise to love and care for her, to be by her side, to laugh and cry, and to always make sure there are ice creams for dessert? I do. Dulcie, do you take Jack to be your husband? Do you promise to support and care for him, to be by his side, to laugh and to cry, and to love him with all of your heart? I do. Okay, Jack, please repeat after me. I call upon the persons here present. I call upon the persons here present. To witness that I. To witness that I. Jack William Merchant. Jack William Merchant. Take thee. Take thee. Dulcie May Washington. Dulcie May Washington to be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful and wedded wife. Thank you, Jack. Now, Dulcie, please repeat after me. I call upon the persons here present. I call upon the persons here present. To witness that I. To witness that I. Dulcie May Washington. Dulcie May Washington. Take thee. Take thee. Jack William Merchant. Jack William Merchant. To be my lawful wedded husband. To be my lawful wedded husband. That was lovely. Jack and Dulcie, you'd now like to exchange some rings, so can we please have the rings from Jack's daughters, Linda and Laura? Thank you. Just going to pretend this. Here's the rings. Okay, so Jack, you're going to place the ring on Dulcie's left finger and hold it there for me and repeat after me. With this ring. With this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. Wear it as a symbol. Wear it as a symbol. Of my promise to you. Of my promise to you. And our everlasting love. And our everlasting love. 
Okay, your turn, Dulcie. If you can pop Jack's wedding ring on his left finger, hold it there for me and repeat after me. With these rings, with this ring, I be wed, I be wed, wear them as a symbol, wear them as a symbol of my promise to you, of my promise to you, and our everlasting love, and our everlasting love. Family and friends, thank you for being here today to witness the union of this magical couple. It gives me great pleasure to pronounce Jack and Dulcie husband and wife. You may now kiss your bride. <laughs> Family and friends, we'll now sign the official paperwork before we come back together to present our newlyweds to you all. So please feel free to take photos as we do so if you like. And can I please ask that Paul and Amanda join us up at the signing table as our witnesses. Thank you.